Hello, good morning, adventurers, and welcome to Perfect Day at Coco Cay. First time ever on the island, we're excited. We've got a cabana, we're gonna come join us, perfect day here on the Liberty of the Seas. All right, so I think before we go to main dining breakfast here on day three, we're gonna head into the Cafe Promenade. Now this is actually part of your cruise fare, except for the specialty coffees in here. They are not. And it's down here on deck five, right here. Cafe Promenade Espresso. They do sell Starbucks. And they do have, now this is free back here too. Juices and coffee, regular coffee. But see what they have. And here's some of the things they have for free. So there. And there's some sandwiches. And then some good fruit. And then we got some parfaits. I did want to point out that the, the uh, free things that you order here, you have to order on this side. And the coffee's on that side. So just so you know. All right, our first cafe promenade. Two banana muffins and fruit Danish. Not sure, it looks like apple maybe? Apricot maybe? And I did notice, at least on today's particular day three, um, they don't open all the dining. So even though you may have your normal dining at Barticelli or Michelangelo, this is deck three. So they're just one, one room or one dining room is open for the breakfast. All right, so. Brielle was served, well, she was given a choice of some options. And she is gonna have a chocolate croissant to start the meal. And then Keegan decided on a fruit danish, it's apple. So we're ready to get the meal going. All right, and here's what we have for breakfast. All right, we did start off with a little fruit plate as well. Kids got danish, just a little fruit plate, uh, pineapple, watermelon, grapes, um, a key. And a and kiwi. Key. All right. What did you get? I got the French toast. And there's the French toast right there, looking good, with a little, is that strawberry? What is that? Uh, like, yeah, like a berry compote. All right, let's come over. Hey, what did you get? The same thing as for Oh, I, I didn't notice that. You're right. Okay. Now, over to Mama. What did you get? I got a ham and cheddar and pepper and onion omelet right. with a side of hash brown, and she brought me a piece of whole wheat toast to All go right. with it. And right, I got the classic uh, eggs Benedict, and it looking good with a hash brown right there, and tomato. So, bon appetit. Got to get some video of this beautiful stair. How awesome is that? Very pretty, I tell you. Very pretty. So this is the third floor. I think I said that enough. I didn't believe it. Another grand view here. Beautiful. Mama? The balloon is up, for now. The balloon. So we did have the balloon um, originally, originally kind of reserved, yeah. yeah. But then we heard it's down more than it's up. So we switched over to a cabana. So I think that's a good choice though. Because the day progresses, who knows? Who knows? Well, That'll be for a later date. So that's right. All right, yeah. so we're gonna head up here because we have a cabana. We're gonna see, uh, I guess there's supposed to be a excursion or concierge service up here that we check in. It's supposed to take us to our cabana. All right, this is a really good shot of the back. You got the tidal wave, you got the slides, you got the flow runner. Well, you can see the guy on the flow runner. So that's on the uh, upper deck there. So very cool, Liberty of the Seas right there. And then you can see the difference here, Independent of the Sea, same class, but they have that little air, I forget what the exact name called is, but the little air thing. The round ball, yeah. yeah. All right, so we got the perfect day. And on the other side, Coco K. That was 
up. So we got some music here. We got some dancers. Very nice. The Thrill Water Park is over here. Nice. Got a little Captain, I don't know what you call Royal Caribbean. All right, so to get the, at least our cabana, you gotta go to Chill Island. And that's right here, because you know what? We're just a kind of chilling family. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No? No, guess not. That's a teenage look right there. All right. Another good look here from Chill Island. Very cool. Oop, the balloon's going up. Cool slide there. Cool shops here on this side. Straw Market is what it's called. So don't make the mistake, well, unless you want to walk, but there is a tram that will take you to the cabanas from the boat. So we kind of weren't given that information. So just uh, FYI, or you can walk, you know? Not that bad walk. I mean, we've walked at that other private island on that other cruise line, but it uh, doesn't seem like it's that far, but we'll see. But anyway, just so you know, there's tramps. All right, so let me show you what the uh, Coco Cay Chill Island cabanas look like. And then we'll tell you all the amenities that come with it. Uh, you see four chairs out here in front. Mama likes, nice umbrella there. Welcome. So this is actually a pop-up cooler. So this is a pop-up cooler with ice water. Got some chairs in the cabana here. Now this side is a safe. They'll give you the key or the code to it. Nice little chill out for daddies to take a nap. Nice fan to keep cool, although this is a very nice day today, but still. And here's the um, cabana menu, if you will. You push that and it sends a little signal to him that to come get whoever your attendant is. And then here's the drink of that you can get here. So also let me point out, so whatever drink package you have on the cruise, transfers over here. So we have sodas, so that will transfer over here. And uh, you have the whole encompassing package, whatever, and those alcohol drinks there are for free, you know, based on what you paid for. So let me just show you the view here, because this is pretty cool. There's cabanas all the way up and down this chill island. I think this is just one set of the cabanas. There's another one, a set over on the other part, which we're not sure, we gotta explore a little bit. But let me show you the view. And look at this view here that you have right out front, a little private beach right there. Cold, warm? Eh? Oh, Brielle said eh. Keegan says cold. The cabana is towels, so you don't have to worry about those. And Mama, why don't you tell us the rest of these stuff? So you also get two floating mats um, and two sets of snorkel gear with your cabana. So we've got the mats here. Um, our attendant told us we do have to go over to the snorkel checkout area and sign waivers in order to get our snorkel gear. So if we decide the water's warm enough to do that, we'll show that later um, today. But I think right now the name of the game is just R&R. We're just going to relax. Chill. At Chill Island. All right. So my son picked up a seashell, but there's a... <laughs> you see it moving? I feel yeah. so bad because I was shaking it. Whenever There's a uh, water. resident of the shell. I don't know if we can see. I'm not sure you can see that in there. All right, everybody asked about how is the water in this being March the what 19th? Um, cold, <laughs> freaking cold. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. I mean, it'll get used to, but I mean, it's not bad. But I think it's just more like you're numb at this point. So, anyway. all right, so checking in on our wonderful day here at our cabana. I'm gonna put a little uh, shots of Mama and Keegan doing some fish excursion on their own out in the middle of the cold water out there. And I think we're gonna head, or we're going to order some, uh, almost said room service, comes cabana service uh, for their menu. And then we're gonna show you 
the uh, buffet that's up there as well. So we'll check that out. So I basically just been sleeping, snoring. I think I probably walked up the whole entire Cabana Island area, chill island area. Um, so just fun, fun time. All right, so that's part of one of the cool things. You get a cabana, you get service. So we got some things uh, for, um, I almost said room service. Got some things for cabana service. So take us through, I think most of us got the famous chicken. Now we've heard so much about this thing. I know, this chicken sandwich. This chicken sandwich is to die for. So uh, we'll go through what we got so here. three of us got the chicken sandwich. We got a family size family mozzarella segment. stick and then um, He's got, got hot dogs. Hot dogs. All right. All right. So there's the mozzarella sticks, the famous chicken sandwich from Coco K. And hot dogs. all right. So everybody else uh, jumped right into their their chicken sandwiches. I'm going to show you my first impression of the famous Coco K chicken sandwich. I've been asked to inform that I actually modify the chicken sandwich. I don't really care for lettuce. Well, I don't know why, burgers or whatever. Don't really care for lettuce on there. So I took the lettuce and tomato off. Um, but it's pretty good. I, I don't, it's, I think it's spectacular, but it's pretty good. Being breezy right now. Chilling at Coco K. The perfect day at Coco K. Yep. Ooh, ooh. Chilling at Coco K. All right, 1222. So I think it's fair to say that weather.com was oh, not correct. Don't sh we should not even was talk not about correct. this. Was not correct. Yeah, don't but talk yeah, about this but we're back on the ship. you it, I'm going to tell you. Mm -mm. So those people who idea. cruise I mean every time. He's I, I don't jinx. think there's not been He's one cruise. Jinx us now. Not one cruise that we have been oh, on where it's going to rain the whole cruise, it's going to rain the whole time, no matter whatever. Even that other cruise line that begins with a D, it's going to rain every time. We're good. I think we're oh good. Oh my gosh, it's gonna pour now we're just because you said it. So, having fun at Coco Cave. All right, this is a chill grill. Let's take a look at some of the sandwiches they've got. Oh, here's a good view. The jet skis. See the clouds rolling in here. Coco K. And those are the water cabanas. Now they're much more expensive, but they do look awfully cool. They're over there. I do want to mention that they do have a uh, Bose Bluetooth speaker that you can do. I was able to actually, because I'm on the internet, I was able to hook up to uh, YouTube Music. I play some music, which was pretty helpful given our neighbors. So, so some cool shirts here local and uh, stuff with Coco K on it. Right here, sweatshirt. And we have hair braiding over here right before you get on the ship. And then they do have a private uh, or a little Royal Caribbean Coco K shop up here. Let's see what they have. Oh, 
Do you like this one? Mm, those water bottles are so cute. Mm. Nice. I don't know. I guess once the boat leaves, so you gotta clean up. Plug, yeah. yeah. All right. So that concludes our perfect day here at Coco Cay. And did it rain, Mama? No rain, but it's coming. It's coming. So anyway, <laughs> back. And there's what we're facing, but we made it. Woo! -hoo. All right. Whoa! It's raining over there. I think we got about a hundred yards though to go. We're good to go. What? A, what a! What a genuine perfect day, you know? And we come back from our perfect day with a towel monkey. How cute. And in our other room, not sure. Brielle's calling it a sloth. I think it looks more like a, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so tonight we're going to eat at Johnny Rockets. Now it's a paid one, not a part of your cruise fare, so come along with us. Here. We're not going to eat out here because it's a little windy, but they have outside. This would be pretty cool if it was a nice, not so windy day out. You see that real well, the old fashioned jukebox that they used to have at the milk and for the shake and malt shops. Milk and shake shops. Malt and shake shops. I think we recognize any songs. I got you, babe. Alright, here at Johnny Rockets, famous for their hamburgers and their milkshakes. We start off with, start off with an Oreo milkshake. And we also got a good one side. I won't tell you how this works out. But uh, you each person gets one side of both an entree and a drink. Uh, two of you. I think you and Mama and Breezy got four um, onion rings. All right, first bite, onion rings. Nice. Famous onion rings from Johnny. I don't know if they're famous or not. Uh, they're famous for the ship. Good onion rings. All right, and as part of me and Keegan's side, we got cheese fries. Onion ring one more, yeah? Oh my gosh. Smokehouse burger. But I just didn't get the onions because I'm not onion rings because I'm not an onion ring cake. So you got the chili cheese dog. Beautiful. Now we come to Breezy Girl. Breezy, you got just classic grilled cheese. And Mama, what did you get? I got their um, burger and I had them add cheese to it. Right. Like their original. And I, might, and I might add, you can have them add some things like uh, bacon. Is it too great to uh, strips of bacon and onions and all that kind of stuff if you wanted? That the burger you chose does not come with that. So that was an option as well. Option as well. I know young rings were great, but how's your hamburger? Cheeseburger was really good. I, I enjoyed it. I know that not everybody was a fan of everything that they got, but I think this is a really unique it's kind of quiet dining experience. So Pretty quick service, too. Pretty quick service, too. How did you like everything? I thought everything was really good. But you, you like the shake better? Yes. Okay. All right, now we're going to keep it. All right, bud. What did you, do you like the chili cheese dog? I like the chili cheese dog. I didn't like the fries so much, but everything was good. And you like the shake, too? I like the shake, too. Yeah. All right. And I agree, the chili cheese fries I did pass on. The um, uh, smokehouse uh, burger was fantastic. That was really good. And I agree with my, my uh, dearest. This was very quick. One of those, hey, sit down, fast food sort of um, comfort food sort of thing. So definitely Johnny Rockets. Love it. I want to get here. So this is a kids uh, area. I think we've shown this throughout the cruise, but kind of pretty at night. It's closed right now. And then as you come towards the front of the ship, here on 
deck 13. Here's a look down of the main pool area. Alright, we're gonna head into the cupcake cupboard. Sorrento's and have a slice of pizza. Here's what they've got. All right, I'm loving this pizza, Sorrento's. I love thin crust. Um, let's see how Mama. We got pepperoni. Let's see how Mama likes it. Not bad. Right now, my favorite pizza, but it's not bad. Not thin crust. I don't. Yeah, not so much. But the thin crust. Alright, we're gonna head into the Platinum Theater for Saturday night fever. Alright, we're gonna head in and get some ice cream. We're on a sweet high here tonight, last night of the cruise. He's got in a waffle cone, the Chunky Monkey, and Breedy got also in a waffle cone, the Very, Very Extraordinary. All right. And Mama, you got Chunky Monkey. Chunky Monkey. And I got Mint Chocolate Chunk. All right. So let's wrap up last day. But a perfect day. How many times have I said that? At Coco Cay. Okay. So what'd you guys think? First time on the island. That was I awesome. The, I like the cabana. Um, I thought that seeing all the fish was really cool. Yeah. Fish in the water. Even though it was cold. It was. Yeah. Still had fun. Definitely could see better weather. Weather, very a lot fun. So it was a cool place, right? So, um, else, anything else stands out? What food? So how? About, okay, we had a couple of treats. A couple of the. Paid experiences. So let's start with uh, Sereno's. I know you weren't a big fan, Breeze, of the pizza. Keys, what did you think? Uh, I didn't like the pizza that much either. No. It was okay. I'm not, I don't really like pizza. So Sereno's, you could pass. Yeah. Okay. How about um, Cupcake Cupboard? Um, I only tried the Oreo, but that was good. I like that. So you like that one? And uh, how do we like Ben and Jerry's? Really, really good. The ice cream was. No. You got the berry, so very, very, very extreme. <laughs> so, and you liked your chunky monkey too. Okay. All right, my dearest, our impressions of the perfect day. You can go first if you want. So we started the day out not knowing what the weather was going to look like, um, but we. I was right. Very much lucked out to the bad weather didn't start till after we were already on the ship. So. Overall, it really was a perfect day. I think I said that as we were leaving the island. Uh, we had a great time at the cabanas. Um, the water was freezing, was cool. was but we made the, the most of, the of perfect, it. Yeah. That's why we didn't go get the snorkel gear, um, yeah. which we had two of those that I think I mentioned that were included with the cost of the cabana. But it was far too cold for us, even yeah. at the heat of the day. But we did enjoy what well, we could. I tried to include a little bit of the stuff we got from the GoPro for the fishies. Yeah, but I think we just enjoyed like lounging. Yeah. Um, I think we all took a nap. It was it was lovely. All right, and I will I will agree. It definitely was fun having to come in. I think that was the right way to go uh, for the first time being on the island, just because you had a spot that you could go to. We did not get to explore the island well at all, except for Chill Island. I do regret not being able to show that. Uh, we showed a little bit of what you get at the um, main chill grill. the Chill Grill. Yeah, I think uh, you know we. I, and I'm, I'm going to mention it. We um, we try to be very positive on the channel. 
Um, but I will tell you the one downside was, and not comparing to the other island of the other cruise that begins with a D, but that was a breaker for the people that we were next to. Oh, um, you can't the, control uh, where your cabana is I mean, assigned. <laughs> yeah, you can't control it. And it clearly was not Royal Caribbean's issue. So I just, just keep in mind they are very close. But I think as a person in a cabana, keep in mind you're not the only person on the island. And nobody wants to hear all your business. I mean, I was going to put it like that. I mean, look, we try, again, we try to be positive. Sure. But, um, you know, I think it's something you do. You have kids. I don't need to hear the stuff we heard, period. Yeah. So that really didn't make it a perfect day but otherwise i had fun it was a it was a good time definitely would go back warmer weather that's for sure so on to back onto the ship now all right so we did get to squeeze some things in i i, I do regret being a little disorganized in this vlog but hey it was our first time but anyway a couple of serenos i loved it i love that kind of thin pizza your thoughts it was okay yeah it was okay um, then we had the uh, cupcake uh, cupboard. That was delicious. Now, I will say this, because uh, we overheard them. Um, it sounds like some of this stuff is all, well, sort of pre-made, kind of, sort of. Or at least they draw to an end on some of the flavors that they have at the end of the cruise. So, if you want to enjoy some, all the flavors they have, probably should go But we walked there. by every day. The case was never full. Yeah, so I'm not sure. So just heard, overheard the guy talking. maybe limited amounts out of those yeah. flavors. All right, and Ben and Jerry's. And how do you go wrong with ice cream? That was good. Yeah. <laughs> they have some unique flavors, so that was a nice little tasty treat. And again, so just to reiterate, Sorrento's free, Ben and Jerry's cupcake cupboard, not free. Had to pay for that. So, all right, so we did want to just mention a little bit about Saturday Night Fear. And let me, let me just say first, I think once we're off the ship, and not that we ever, we did, again, we, we set out this whole vlog to. This not to be a comparison to the other cruise line against the D, okay? So we tried our best. I think we did pretty good. So I don't want to compare that, but I think at the end we'll do some more reflection and then kind of give some helpful comparisons because there are differences in the, the, the two cruise lines. One, the shows. So, so Saturday Night Fever, the big headliner show, um, we set out with our expectations kind of according to the, what the show was the first night and, and we didn't make it. We only made it about 30 minutes. Honestly, probably would have left after the first act. I couldn't make eye contact with Tim to tell him like, no, nah, this isn't for us. Um, so definitely too adult for our family. I think we're used to things that are a little bit more G or PG well, and that was a little bit much. I will be honest. I didn't like Saturday Night Fever even when it came out as a movie. So I would, that's bad right there. But anyway, totally agree. Just, I think you need to be heads up, uh, which, you know, again, I think maybe we'll get into a little bit later in some of, a, you know, a later vlog. But um, definitely the entertainment on the Royal Caribbean uh, is much more adult oriented. Agreed. Fair to say. So. Take it for its worth. Now, if you're a Saturday Night Fever disco nut, you probably would love it. You're gonna love it. I mean, there definitely were some or costumes and great props and things like John that for Travolta what we did. Or whatever, yeah. For what we did see, and I, it, kudos to the uh, kudos to all the stage crew, uh, the actors, yeah. everybody, yeah, like the great. performers. Yeah. The performers, I think, were spot on. I think it's the script. Yeah. So that just. Just That's keep it a little in mind. off putting for us. Just keep that in mind. All right. And so, since we have a promenade room, they're supposed to be doing a disco 70s thing. Yeah. Some so, kind of 70s show. If we can see anything from um, our room, we'll try to share a little bit of it. I will say, this is the first night that I've actually heard stuff going on out there. They're pretty loud right now. I, I've never, I, I have not heard that much. A little bit last night. Last night. But okay. when I was just sitting like here where we're at by the window. When the drapes are closed, you really can't hear yeah. a lot. So I'll try to show a little bit of that. So that will do it for our last day, final day, no, our final, day. final day on our first Royal Caribbean Liberty of the Seas. Stay tuned for this to follow our disembarkation video. We'll share a little bit of some of the stuff we learned on that <laughs> video because that was a little bit confusing too. And we've got a mini haul vlog. And we have a mini haul too. vlog. Yeah. So. That said, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell as it does definitely help our channel 
and thank you for watching. Onward to our next adventure.